This is the all new BMW i7. And today I'm gonna to show you some of the incredible technology and luxurious features that the 7 Series has to offer. Let's go. This is the new 7 Series front end. As you can see, we've got the two kidney grills here. We've got the dual headlights. And what's really cool is they've added the option for illuminated kidney grills here. So at nighttime, you'll see it illuminate and it's pretty amazing. They've got adaptive kidney grills, meaning that when these are closed, it's getting better efficiency for the car. So it's gonna be more aerodynamic. But when the car needs some cooling, all it does is open that up. Now, because this is the i7, it's fully electric, you've got some individual badging here that lets everyone else know that your car is fully electric, even though you can't tell. Now, the kind of neat thing here is you've got these two headlights here. Now, what BMW has done is their main LEDs are here. They're adaptive, they'll move all the road, but they've separated the running lights to be here. And so this is actually all crystal in here as well. So at night, it looks pretty cool. So let's talk about how you get into your BMW 7 Series. Now, of course, it's got a door handle like everyone else. You just open it up and get in. But you know you want it to be a little bit different. Instead, they put this button right here that's also got a sensor inside of it. So when the key is close, you just press it, stand back, let it do the work for you. Now, as you can probably think, you know, parking in the garage or next to some other peasant that doesn't have a 7 Series, you're worried, well, what if this door automatically opens into someone else? Well, because it's got a sensor here and all along the running boards there, all you do is push it and stand in front of it and thank God it won't hit you. So it's going to make sure that it gives you just enough room to be able to get in and out without hitting another car or maybe your Rolls Royce or Ferrari that you've got in the garage. So even with your hands full, you come up to the car, kick underneath it, and you've got hands-free opening and closing. You've got a ton of space in here too, so you've got this giant opening for all your golf clubs and everything else. Even though you get a little less room with the electric version of this car because of the dual motors on the front and back, you still get a little bit of storage underneath here too. So you can store any kind of accessories you need here as well as utilize all this open space here. And when you're done, kick it closed and walk away. Charging the i7 is a super simple process. Put your form of payment in, get the charger out, bring it over to the charge door, open it up, and plug it in. The new 7 Series introduces the new iDrive 8, which gets you this curved giant display that lets you control all of your needs. As you can see, you've got Apple CarPlay, you get Android Auto. But you use the controller down here, they call it the iDrive, to control everything else that you might need. It's touchscreen if you need be. And the most amazing part is you can use voice control. Voice control does everything for you these days. You can say, hey BMW, I'm hot. I'm lowering the temperature, so it will be more comfortable right away. Let me know if it gets too cold for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You can tell it directions call so-and-so, whatever you might need. We've gotten away from buttons, as you can see, but BMW has done a good job of keeping some tangible things here. We can open and close vents just by sliding my finger there. As you can see, there actually are no physical vents integrated here. What they've done is they've actually put them tucked away right below your crystal you have around this, the whole car, and you have the ability to move the vents back and forth and then adjust your temperature there as well. 
Now down here we talked about how you control the media down here with the iDrive controller, but you've got your volume knob and also crystal. You've got your start button also in crystal. You've got the new shifter because it doesn't even have a transmission, but BMW has now gone to this little shift knob here that will let you put it in drive, park, and everything else um, right here. This car has so much crystal, you might as well just call it a jewelry store. It's got shininess everywhere. It's incredible. You've got the ability to close your cup holders so nobody can see your cup holders. Um, you've got a wireless charger up here. There's also one in the rear for your passengers. You get additional storage in here. You've got two USB-C ports in here to charge your other devices. Otherwise, it's very simple. So much technology to use. You have your augmented reality on that screen to show you directions while looking at your front camera. Of course, you have your standard head-up display. That's going to show you any information you might need there as well. You have all your different menus. You can rearrange them and it BMW is trying to be as personal as possible where we haven't had you even have my modes so you can go in here to personal which is just going to be adaptive to whatever you might need if you're feeling sporty you can change it to sporty it changes the color in here as well and it even makes the throttle response a little bit more aggressive your steering wheel tighten up suspension kind of lets you feel the road a little more it just brings you a whole new experience but you go back into it you want to be efficient and just cruise along as you can see we have these beautiful images to support it's efficiency. Or, of course, you can go in and relax, or theater, or you can be expressive, however you desire. You've got all the different modes. You're too rich to care. Who cares? You've got all your ability to see all of your cameras. So, of course, you've got backup camera. You've got the 360 camera, which is really impressive. It's actually got a little place here to highlight when your door is too close to hit something. The BMW app is really great. You can unlock and unlock your car flash your lights, honk your horn if you need to, locate the car, but you can also drive the car with your phone by remotely pulling it in and out of places. But it's got the parking ability there. It's got a record new path. What that is referring to is you can drive a certain way and, and it remembers your exact path. And then if you have trouble backing up, it will back it up the exact same way you came in and do it for you. A really cool view is the parking view. So you've got the parking assistant, you got your pan, a panorama view, and then you've actually got even more cameras. You got the 3D view, which is one of my favorites. The 3D view, as you can see, matches your, your color of your car. Of course, you couldn't have anything less than that. You've got all your different views you can see here, but with gesture control, you can do things like this and pinch and move around the car. So in live cameras, you can see exactly what's going on and check out if anything's around you or if somebody's trying to come close to you, you can see them right here. And you have all the visibility you need, so there's no excuses for not backing in. The car will do it for you. Parallel park, perpendicular park, you can see every view there is to see. So, what else is there to ask for? You've got all kinds of different integrated apps. Not only do you have Apple CarPlay if you need it, which is just simply bring it up there, and you can add any apps that you need to your phone that will translate to your car but they've also added it to all of the settings as well. So your main settings here, you've got all your apps. So if you didn't want to use Apple CarPlay, you connect your phone through Bluetooth. It'll show any apps that are on your phone and it will be translated here. You can see YouTube music. They've even got YouTube on here as well. So once you log in and maybe you're sitting here and charging your car, all you need to do is pull up a YouTube video and watch whatever video you like. The 7 Series offers a upgraded sound system, the Bowers & Wilkins sound system. Now, it, it provides incredible sound, but it also offers 4D sound. Now, you think that's a pretty bold statement, but what it does is, as you can see with these very plush seats, not only are they comfortable and accommodating, they've actually added some stimulators in there so you can actually adjust it to feel like there's bass coming from the seats. It's like being in a giant theater with the most impressive sound system you've ever heard. So you play some music and it just engulfs you with such clarity and, and quality that is really an impressive thing. I'm an audiophile guy and so once you hear something like this it really opens your mind to surround sound and the feel that you have. It's really remarkable. Okay, back here in the back is some of the coolest features that BMW has to offer. Not only does it have an astonishing amount of leg room and extremely plush pillows so you feel like you're still in bed, it's got a wireless charger, and then if you extend it, 
there's your cup holders. You've got this little hidden trap door here that you can open up and you can put different accessories in here, such as an iPad holder or a coat hanger or a little hook to hold your purse on. So of course your Louis Vuitton or your fancy clothes don't have to touch the floor. Each seat has a USB-C charger on it, so you can charge your said devices. It's pretty amazing. The coolest part is each door offers a 5.5 inch tablet that lets you control everything from the temperature in here or your seating arrangement or what you're listening to, of course, because back here, you're in control. Here's the coolest thing. This tablet allows you to bring down this amazing, gigantic 31 inch 8K display that BMW offers. It's one of its kind. It's amazing. It's touchscreen. It's got a 5 g connection to it it allows you to connect your amazon fire stick already built in and an hdmi port back there so you go in here and you can adjust the audio do your bluetooth connect your phone to it have headphones connected to it and just through a simple setup process you can have all your viewing needs here watching youtube or whatever your favorite show is all from the luxury of the back seat why even drive this car as amazing as it does drive You've got this. I'd hire a driver too. All right, guys, so we're behind the wheel of the i7. And boy, I can tell you right now, this car drives really well. It's definitely a 7 Series. It feels so luxurious and just easy to drive. Now, it still has all of the different sport modes being fully electric. It's got individual modes and comfort mode and efficient mode. But man, I tell you what, this car having 536 horsepower, it's a, oh my God. Wow, <laughs> I almost felt like I broke the tires loose back there. Um, it's all-wheel drive. It's got a motor in the front and the back, so I don't think that was possible, but it's, it's pretty amazing. 536 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. The sucker will move, but for some reason, if that's not enough power for you, BMW just announced a new i7 that just came out, the M70 with 650 horsepower and you know what zero 60 in 3.5 seconds oh my gosh i mean that's pretty incredible i mean for this car how luxurious and how much technology it has it's it's pretty remarkable of course you know it doesn't necessarily compare to the teslas and the porsche but it's a apples to orange kind of comparison this is an amazing luxurious car those cars are great extremely fast but they kind of play to a different tune than these cars do if you compare it to the EQS, it doesn't really compare because it's fully electric, but the S-Class more compares to it. So again, it's a little bit odd, but we'll see. I mean, this features, the features on this car are way more astonishing than what the S-Class has to offer right now. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for checking out the new BMW i7, BMW's first all-electric 7 Series. In case you don't want to be all electric, they make a 740 and a 760 in their combustion engines with their new M5 motor with tons of horsepower. It's amazing to drive. Let me know what you think. Do you think there's any features that it's missing or what was your favorite part? I mean, how do you beat that giant screen in the back? Nobody compares to that. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any cars you want me to review, let me know and I will get my hands on it. We can do a review about it. Make sure you like and subscribe. And bonus question, if you can tell me how many ultrasonic sensors are around the car, you might win a prize. See you guys next time. Take care.